Hello everybody, I'm Nadine Brandis, the author of Fox and the Out of Time series, and I'm here with a massive book haul and my report from my very first ever book con experience. Wow. So I had never been to BookCon before and my publisher sent me for me to sign a whole bunch of arcs of Fox to give those out to everybody. Well, not everybody, to the first 150 people in line, which was sad because we ran out of copies. <clears throat> if you didn't know, Book Expo and BookCon are two back-to-back, -back, very, very bookish events that take place in New York. And I was so excited to be able to go. So the very first book that I picked up at BookCon was Fox! Just kidding. Bah. Instead, I gave away 150 copies! Actually, my publisher gave away 150 copies. Look at that. Yep. Now I just want to... Booyah! Okay, maybe I should do the whole rest of my video like this. Anyway, I went to BookCon and look, I got a little badge! Nadine Brandis, author of Fox. So I arrived the day before BookCon and I met up with my publisher, which was super cool to just hang out with my publisher. My signing was one of the first signings of the day. So doors opened at 10, I was signing at 10. My publisher took me to our booth in the HarperCollins area and it was gorgeous. It was so beautiful. And it had all of these copies of Fox set up and this huge poster of my face, which was like, hey me. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I know that Fox is my world right now because it releases in a month and people are gonna read it and I hope that they all love it. But it's hard to imagine that anybody else knows about it. So I kind of figured I would be at my booth, the doors would open, and then a couple little stragglers would walk past and I'd be like, hey, hey, you should read my book. Do you want it? Do you want it? Please, sir, please, will you just take my book, sir? Please, do you want it? Just take it! It's not an insecure thing. It's an I don't know what to expect thing. So as I'm sitting there with my markers, you can hear when 10 o'clock hits because suddenly there's this distant cheer and then there's like this stampede of footsteps. Everyone is coming, people are everywhere. And the next thing I knew is I was just signing copy after copy after copy after copy because there was this huge line that just wrapped out of sight. I never even saw the end of the line of people who wanted Fox, my Fox. What, what? And I got to meet all of these readers who weren't just in line for a free book. So many of them were saying, I've been really looking forward to Fox. It was really hard only having like 15 seconds to look up and say hi and sign a book because I really just wanted to take every single person to a coffee shop and get to know them. <laughs> we only had a half hour and so we had to go through the line really, really fast. So I hope that nobody felt like I didn't like them or didn't care about them. One of my big fears as an author is that someone will come into my signing line and leave feeling like I didn't care about them at all because I love every single one of my readers and I want to connect and I just want all of you to know if you were there, whether you got a book or not, it meant so much to me that you got in line and that you stood there for my book until we ran out. But at least it only, it comes out in only a month, so it'll be here really soon and you should pre-order it because we have pre-order goodies and they're amazing. So that was my first hour of BookCon. I did get to spend time meeting some other authors and then also um, connecting again with several booktubers who I met at Y'all West and then also meeting new ones. Overall, I was just blown away by reader love and all of the bookishness and I hope that everybody tries to go at least once in their life because it was a blast. I got a bunch of arcs, so I wanted to show you some of the books that I came home with. The first book that I got was Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri, and this book is about um, a land of magic, and Mare is the illegitimate daughter of an imperial governor as well as the daughter of an exiled magic user, and so that is where all of the trouble begins. Empire of Sands comes out November 13th of this year, 2018. 
The next book that I got is Rule by Ellen Goodlett, and this is compared to Three Dark Crowns. It's about three sisters who are all heirs to the throne, and I don't think they actually know that they're sisters when it starts, so that's kind of fun. So they're brought before the king thinking that he's going to kill them all because they all have secret powers, but instead he's dying, and now they have to learn how to rule. So this just sounds really, really cool. Rule comes out in September of 2018, and I hadn't heard of it prior to BookCon, but now it's on my TBR. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, the next book that I got at BookCon is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This was not a giveaway. I actually ran across her booth when I was kind of wandering around on the BookCon floor, and Sophia and I have been friends a bit on Bookstagram for a while, and I was so excited to see her there because we'd never met in person, and I've always wanted to read her book because look at this cover. Mm. Vinyl is about a world where you have implants in your head and it creates this music that actually hypnotizes everybody. And then of course the main character, she gets severed from that implant at some point and that causes a whole bunch of problems. So I can't wait to start it, Sophia. So then there was this huge swarm into the Jimmy Patterson booth for Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Ngan. I'm not sure I'm saying her last name correctly. It doesn't come out until until October. It's about Lei, who is of the lowest caste of society, but she catches the king's interest, so he takes her to the palace. However, she just happens to fall in love with someone she's not supposed to fall in love with, as well as there's a plot against the king that's unraveling, and she's caught in all of the middle of this. It sounds super cool. Okay, does anyone recognize this book? Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. I have been dying to get it and to read it. And so, of course, when I met Sasha at BookCon, who's super sweet, by the way, as if we all didn't already know that, I snagged a copy of Zenith and I can't wait to start it. I didn't get to meet Lindsay Cummings because she wasn't there because she is also pregnant. And I actually think that we are due like two weeks apart. So that's cool. Anyway, Zenith is an all girl crew sci fi adventure. But of course, one of their missions goes sideways and suddenly at their, they are at the mercy of a bounty hunter that one of the main characters knows from her past. Mm -hmm. It's Sasha's debut novel and I just love that she and Lindsay paired up together to write it. So, and it's a gorgeous hardcover. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the sound of gorgeous hardcovers. So next up is That's Not What Happened by Cody Keplinger. This is about a girl who was with her friend in the bathroom when there was a school shooting and she's one of the only survivors and her friend unfortunately did not survive. So this is set three years later where now the main character is finally going to tell the story of what happened. Those were all the arcs that I got at BookCon. Then I came home to... Blah! to Furyborn, which was in my unicorn crate. It was my first ever unicorn crate and I loved it. I'm also going to link to Unicorn Crate down below because they're a new box subscription for me and I want you guys to check them out because they were really, really amazing. So I'm not reading the back of it or anything because I want to be completely surprised and everybody seems to be loving it. Then lastly, I have Sky in the Deep, which came in my owl crate as it's an exclusive cover. The lighting is different, the font is different, but the book is just as delicious. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know what it is about me and eating books today. This is another one where I haven't read the back, but I can't wait to read it, and I'm sure that you guys have all probably already read it. That's all I have for you for my book haul. Tell me if you have read any of these books that I mentioned, or if any of them are on your TBR. If you would like to stay updated on my videos, please click subscribe or the little bell icon that gives you an email alert every time I post a new video. On that note, tally ho!